Welcome to the first lecture of this course. This course is not about RADIUS, but about the Microsoft RADIUS server called NPS. It is about configuring, managing and maintaining the Windows RADIUS server. Let's study RADIUS a bit to understand the purpose behind this Windows service. RADIUS is a protocol which stands for Remote Authentication Dial-In Service. Yes, that's all what it is. So, what is a protocol? A protocol is a set of rules that defines the mode of communication or operation. That was the simplest definition I could come up with. The RADIUS protocol is used in computer networking and provides you with three A's. Authentication, that's the first A. Authorization, that's the second and accounting, of course, the third. To simplify this further, let's understand what these three A's mean. Considering you're the user and you wish to use a networking service, authentication defines the process of verifying who you are. Authorization defines how much access you have and accounting tracks when you have access the service, how much time you spent, and when you logged out, thus tracking interaction with the service. Let's look at the history of this protocol. It was developed by Livingston Enterprises in 1991 and was standardized by ITF for common use. ITF stands for Internet Engineering Task Force. RADIUS was submitted as a draft to ITF in 1994. In 1995, a group in ITF was assigned to this draft to further polish it. The first RFC, which stands for Request for Comments, was drafted in 1997. The final Request for Comments or RFC for RADIUS was 2865, which was issued in the year 2000. Many other extensions were added later, which made this a very popular choice. That's all for this lecture. See you all in the next one. Don't forget to check the Extra Bytes lecture at the end of the section for definitions and other references.